I can recall a time before I was in speech and debate. The very quiet, shy girl, not very outspoken. I believe I was this kid, not because I didn't have the courage to speak out or that I didn't have opinions. Rather, I didn't know that anybody cared. It wasn't until I was exposed to speech and debate that I realized people are interested in what I have to say. This activity gave me a seat at the table. And speech and debate has taught me that there's no topic that's too taboo, too controversial, or too mature for kids to talk about because we know how to talk about them. Here we give kids a chance to sit at the head of the table, to lead the conversations because you all recognize that we are the future and that you have given us the skills to lead our generation to greatness. Prior to speech and debate, I knew I had a voice inside of me, but I wasn't really sure in what avenue I could use it or, you know, like how I could use my voice to empower other people. But after joining this activity, I realized that no voice is too small or too weak to be able to make change for things that you care about. With speech and debate, I can perform to, it could be just around to six people, but if I impact six people's lives and then they tell their friends, and then they tell their friends, and they tell their friends. The next thing you know, the whole world knows. There's so many revolutionary thoughts and minds that are in this uh, activity, and I want them to know so that they can spread the message. I want to provide that safety net for other kids um, today that may be looking for a place to be, a place to belong, someone to listen to them, someone to believe in them. Um, there are kids out there who need people to be waiting in the, in the wings for them. Debate has meant so much to me in my life. Um, I grew up in Southwest Atlanta and my wonderful parents never really had a lot. And sometimes we struggled. And so to be part of an activity that helped me hone my academic skills and the way I thought in ways that led me to a very good college and then after that to a good law school and then give me the ability to provide for my family was incredibly powerful and altered the course of my life. I am so proud to remember the mentors and the coaches prior to me becoming one who opened the doors for me, whose shoulders I stood upon. It is because of them that I became the first African-American female to be inducted into the NSDA Hall of Fame. And so now, young coaches, I look to you. It is time for you to stand upon my shoulders and begin to create unimaginable openings of doors for future young people. I start out every year telling them, like, I, I don't really care if any of them ever wins an award, but I want them to do three things. First, I want them to learn something about themselves. The second thing is I want them to learn something about others. And the last thing is I hopefully they learn something about the world. And if I can hopefully continue to get them to do that, then I've succeeded no matter what they do in any round, in any place. I can't even begin to tell you how much I get from my students. When I, when I think about it, they give me energy, they give me inspiration, they give me challenge, and most of all, they give me love. And I'm confident that I could never get those things anyplace else from any other job that I could be doing.